Hi, this is Mono Rahman Rani. Today I am going to show you how to render AO and ZPass image in Blender and how to use it in Photoshop. I already created a scene which will provide you in description link for your practice. Now set the camera angle which view you like most. For change camera angle I like to use lock camera to view from properties. Now rotate and zoom in out by mouse. Let's see the render view. Press Shift Z. Now let's go to node editor panel. I'm gonna use this timeline as node editor panel. By default you will see material node editor. Now click since node editor. If you don't see this node, check use node and check backup. Now we will make some changes. We don't need this composite node, so delete it by pressing delete. Now click add, output, file output. We need AO pass from render layer. So go to render layer, then check passes and check AO and also check Z if you see the Z is unchecked. Now locate the output location. In your location, create a AO folder. Then click it and press accept button. Now link AO to file output node which is located as AO folder. Let duplicate this file output node by pressing Shift D. Now look at it by creating a ZPass folder. For ZPass render, we need one more node. Go to Add by Shift A, then Vector Normalize. Now link Z to normalize and normalize to file output. We will duplicate one more file output for real image render. Link image to file output. Now locate file output as main image folder. Now press F12 for image render. When our render will finish, it will automatically save our render image to our located folder. Now we will back after rendering. Our render is finished. If you want to change your render image color management, click on scenes. I like to render view as film, so I choose film. Now change expose and gamma value for nice view.
Let's check our output folder. Here is our AO render. Here is our Z pass render. And here is our main image render. Now we will learn how to compose it in Adobe Photoshop. For now, I will show you only Z pass compositing. For input those render into Photoshop, click and drag into Photoshop. Now input Z pass image. Now selecting Z pass layer, press Ctrl A. Now copy it. Now disable Z pass layer by clicking on layer I. Now go to channels and click new alpha layer. By selecting this layer, go to edit and paste. Then go to layer panel, select main image layer. Then go to filter, blur, lens blur. Hence your death map is alpha 1, which we created in channels layer. Now you can change radius, then blur focal distance. Look at these changes. When you satisfy, press OK. Now we can change our image look in Photoshop. Now I am using it as my desktop wallpaper. If you like my tutorial, please subscribe my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.